looking down from 20,000 feet. The fields are spangled specks beneath my seat. As the mountains fade, the memories made, they all evaporate. Everything is blowing, going, gone, gone away. The grand terrain is turning gray and cold. My comfy home is now threadbare and old. With a parachute, a quick reboot, can I escape my fate? screws so I'll get the drill. So I'm going to be taking down this board that said stuff probably about the Salvation Army. Not sure. Most recently it hold the for sale sign. Either way it's coming down for us because we want our sign to go on the wood where the thrift sign is right now. So it's gonna take this out. Let's not good sign. Get in there. Okay, well that one's just gonna pull off. I think right now the only thing holding it on is this one right here. So down she blows. Here. That we'll have to take down later? Yeah. That's ah, a crowbar job. Okay, so far today I have been um, sweeping walls, which sounds really weird, but they're extremely dusty. So before I do the wipe down, I want to sweep all the cobwebs and the dirt off. And I have been going around and removing all of the screws and nails that have been in the wall. So I can then do a proper wipe down with TSC or like a eco-friendly version of TSC, like just a good degreaser. Um, yesterday we actually went to the store and I picked my colors that I will... Um, show everybody in the next few days because I think this is going to be the first part of the building painted but I do want to get a couple um, smaller cans and just do some tests to see if I really like it because they're kind of bold colors so we'll see all right bye for now I'll do another update soon good morning okay so today I start the studio room or the work room as I'm calling it. I'm going to do some primer, well sanding first, then primer, then I'm going to test my paints out. So this is going to be the before video. So um, everybody's been asking for before and after shots. So here is the before of this room. Let's see if I can get like a full room shot. Hold on. Okay, so here's the workroom studio space before. 
Yeah, see all the grubby? That's going away. Grubby, grubby, grubby. So that's that's it so far. So we will show a better photo or video after. Hopefully it'll be better. <laughs> okay, I don't know if anybody else thinks so, but I love the like worn down and like chip paint look. I'm not keeping it this way, but let me know in the comments below if anybody else loves the look of like, you can see the history of like all the layers of paint. It's amazing. Um, they actually did like before this beige color, they did a faux wood paint treatment. And it's amazing. I don't want it on my walls, but I love that somebody took the time to do that. It's awesome. Anyway, let me know below if you think I'm crazy for loving the way this looks. All right, next time. Going, gone, gone away. Everything is blowing, going, gone, gone away. It's wheels down in my hometown again And everything is just as it had been In the days before the sandy shore was spread beneath my feet Everything is blowing, going, gone, gone Somehow I got lost in the machine How did I become the very one that I could never take? What you doing? I'm reading instructions like every man should do when there's a job to be done. <laughs> uh, instructions. The toilet, the toilet was really gross. It was really, really gross. So... We, one of the first things we've done, the water isn't even, even turned on in the building yet. We have already bought a new toilet and are installing that at the moment. Great kit, comes with all of the bits we need and hopefully I won't mess it up. But it's kind of important that we're able to use the washroom while we are working on this space. Can't always go for a beer next door, you know? Gross toilet, ready and already in the junk pile. Can't wait for the new one. I was told to find a very large star tip. Ooh, that looks very large. But it's hard when you don't know what you're talking about. We'll see what he says. Is this large enough? Uh, yes, I do believe that is. Woo -woo! We did it. Dave is doing the glamorous job of installing the new toilet. But this one is not as gross as the old one. And that is what we're going for. All right. It's time for the final test. We're going to turn on the water supply and see if there are any leaks. Let's see if this toilet operates properly. The 
see no leaks. Now, how's that looking there? It's filling. Fascinating. Ooh. Watch a toilet fill. Let me know when it's full. Wait for it. Wait for it. You have to wait a while. It's only halfway. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get back to you. The first flush. Ooh, we've got a toilet. Everything is blowing, going, gone, gone. To see the endless stars The universe no longer seems so large Good morning! So it is Saturday morning here. We are, we just came in. It's about 9.30, maybe closer to 10. I'm not sure what time it is. But we just came in. We saw that there was a yard sale. I bought, at the yard sale, I bought a blanket and uh, we got a couple cookies each because it was a really sweet little girl selling cookies she made this morning and they look delicious. So those are our afternoon snack for later. So now I am starting a project that I actually started yesterday. So I'm getting back to it today. Um, I will show you and explain because I wasn't happy with what was happening yesterday with it. So I went by and I brought, bought some brushes last night to um, try to, okay, I'll show you and then I'll explain what I'm going to try to do. Okay. So here it is. So this grate is um, like original to the building. She's beautiful. Let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna put it down on my lap. So I cleaned up, well David last week, there's a video of it that oh, he cleaned up with a metal grinder um, all of the rust off of the top here but it's really hard to get down in here so we were kind of like just okay with that but now I'm putting a paste wax because I don't want to paint it or anything but I do want the metal to stop rusting so I've started putting a paste wax on it so I got the top done yesterday but now all of this is really bothering me like it's just it's still I don't know it's eye-catching because it is still so rusty and this is already like touched with wax once so I am going to try now that I have some brushes like this to try to get in there with the wax and see if it makes a difference and then my next job is the flaps in the back, the air flaps, or the, the vent flaps. 
um, I have to figure out a way to get those done. So I will be back with you when I have tried some stuff and we'll see how it goes. And I know they're cracked, but they're really old. And I think it's from like somebody dropping them into the floor. Um, I can't imagine like how hard you would have to drop them to crack them. But when you're in like a hundred year old building, there's a story, we just don't know it. So I'm just gonna go with cracked vents. I'm okay with it because the rest of it is beautiful. So I will give you an update, good or bad, when I've tried some stuff. All right, bye. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I have went from this brush to this brush because even though this flat brush was really, really good and it was getting some of these like straight lines, it wasn't really getting into my curly cues and there's a lot of them. So I moved on to this larger um, bottle brush, I guess. It was from the dollar store. I got like a thing of three. I'm using the biggest one and it is like the perfect size for getting like wax and kind of polishing in all these curly cues. So I'm going to continue with this, but by the time I am done, I'm hopefully going to have a beautifully restored iron grate, but my hands are already tired. So we will see. I will give you an update when it's like in the floor maybe because um yeah i think i'm gonna be here for a while and it's gonna be really boring to watch and you guys don't want to watch that all right i'll check back okay so i thought i would do a little before and after so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing so this little um uh vent uh changer or little handle here um, I haven't done that side, but I have done that side. So you can really see the difference after scrubbing with the brush and waxing. It's just so, so, so much better. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, I think she's done. This was my old rusty grate. And now with some, okay, a lot of TLC and the Minwax um, paste finishing wax and a lot, did I say a lot of elbow wax or elbow grease <laughs> and a lot of buffing? This is what she looks like. I am very happy with the result. It's a win!